Growing Your Relationship with Your Filipina in 2020. Relationships as we all know take plenty of work for the couple to keep growing in the same direction. Successful long-term relationships just don't happen, they are created. We do this by making great effort each and every day and in this video, I will give you some very important information and tips, on how you can keep your relationship with your Filipina growing in 2020 and beyond. What I will share with you will be valuable at any stage of the relationship and really should be applied as part of your everyday relationship. If you do these things on a regular basis you will find your girlfriend or wife will respond kindly and the relationship will be sure to flourish. If you're looking for information, tips and resources around dating and marrying a Filipina and strengthening your relationship, then be sure to subscribe and press the bell icon for future videos. Firstly, you need to take the time to really get to understand your Filipina. She is most likely not like any other woman you have dated before. Unless you have dated a Filipina previously of course. You need to understand why she does the things she does. Which at times may amuse you and seem rather strange. Understanding her culture will give you an insight to some of this which is really important, because if you don't understand your Filipina how can you have a successful long-term relationship? So not only research about her culture, ask your girlfriend or wife about it. I am sure she will be very happy that you're taking an interest. And she will be more than happy to educate you a little on this. You also need to gain great understanding around things such as family and religion that may have played such an important part in all her life. The impact family and religion may have on her could very well be hard for you to understand. For many of us foreign guys we love our families but a Filipina and her family takes it to another level. They rely and depend on each other far more than most of us could ever imagine. So, gaining good insight and understanding why family is so important to your girlfriend or wife will save many issues in the relationship as time goes by. And your relationship will be rewarded for doing so. Most Filipinos are religious to a certain degree. Some more so than others. If you're religious, then you will have good insight into her and how religion plays a big part in her life. But if you're not, then you need to talk to her in a genuine and non-judgmental way to find out why religion is so important to her. Think about it this way. If you don't understand your Filipina, then how can you expect to be able to have a strong relationship on anything else other than a physical one? So, ask questions around these things and be curious. The next tip or important information you need to know and apply daily is that your girlfriend or wife needs to feel loved, valued and secure within that relationship at all times. This applies equally to an online relationship or when you two are living together. And frankly, applies to any relationship with any person anywhere in the world. Not only does she need to hear you say the words that you love her, but she needs to feel your words are genuine. She needs to see your words turn into actions. Anyone can say, I love you, but words are cheap. So, say, I love you, and back it up by showing her each day. Be sure to value her each day. Listen to her instead of dismissing her. Allow her to talk and have an opinion, even if it's different to your own. Help to build her confidence up, instead of knocking it down. You may think you're right and you know better. But that sort of behavior will only lead to weakening the relationship. A strong relationship will be where both people are happy and confident within themselves and each other. If you can show her that she is loved and valued each day, then she will become secure within that relationship and within herself. I call this contentment. If your girlfriend or wife is content within that relationship, she will never look anywhere else. That is because she is having all her needs met by you. And what you guys are creating together is very special and let's face it, in this day and age, rather rare. The next important point is to understand that in today's crazy world people get so busy. The couple each have their work lives to deal with, family and home to take care of and the stressor that come along with paying bills and trying to save for a good future. Through all of this people often neglect the most important thing of all. Which is the relationship and each other. As we get more busy with other aspects of life, that should be a sign to focus more on each other. Instead many couples come home from a hard day at work and just want to be left alone to watch the TV or decompress on the computer. 
Now don't get me wrong. That is fine for a short time. But you need to then reconnect with your partner and focus on the relationship. It's all too easy to say, I am too tired and just want to go to sleep. This is the time you really need each other and it's a great time to create some intimacy together. Remember if you're feeling tired then maybe your partner is also feeling tired. Creating intimacy can be anything from talking to each other and understanding their frustrations at work today. Right through to helping them make dinner, wash the dishes or tidy the house through to giving each other a foot rub or even a full massage. Sure, one may not feel in the mood to be doing these things at the start. But as you get into it you may be pleasantly surprised at where it leads to. And of course, doing these things together is building not only intimacy in your relationship, but also strengthening the bond between the two of you which is invaluable for a long-lasting and happy relationship. The last piece of information or tip I will give in this video on growing your relationship with your Filipina in 2020 is, know just how important special dates are to her. Now here when I use the word, dates, I mean it in the two different meanings it has. Firstly, make sure you guys don't forget to go on dates. Some couples may have a date night once a month. While it may sound corny, rest assured it helps to keep the spark in the relationship. No matter if you guys are online dating or are together, you can still have date nights. For those online, organize some food for each other and something to drink. Do a video call and enjoy the company of each other over a meal. Take the time to talk and find out more about each other. The other term of dates I refer to is remembering important dates. Things such as anniversary dates. So, if you're online, you will want to remember the date you guys officially became an item. If you're engaged or married, then remember these dates. And the same is for her birthday. If you don't trust yourself to remember, then write the dates in a book or set reminders a day or so before on your phone. Remembering these dates will tell your partner that she is important and that she is always on your mind. She will most likely think it is very sweet that you remembered and didn't have to be reminded. And remember earlier when I said words must be backed by actions. Well these are part of those actions and you and your relationship will be rewarded for doing so. Now, these things I have mentioned are the basics to growing your relationship with your Filipina in 2020 and beyond. And these things will certainly help to do that, but there is also so much more that we don't have time for in this video. Things like caring, compassion, empathy and consideration. Showing all these things to your partner on a daily basis is important. And showing these in genuine and not a forced way is important. If you do any of these things because you feel forced to do them then she will see right through you. And instead of building a relationship you will be knocking it down. If you have trouble doing these things genuinely, then I suggest have a really good think about how important the relationship is to you. Why did you want the relationship in the first place? And how much do you love your girlfriend or wife? Perhaps you need to think about what would your life look like without that special person in it. If you're looking for more information around relationships with a Filipina, be sure to check my card on screen now. Until next time, stay safe and take care.